All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that is doing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, this is Taza Warrior from the GMS Baltimore camp. Okay, our channel is Great Mills Baltimore 3. Okay. Um, for anybody who doesn't, you know, know about the Great Millstone, uh, Baltimore channel, um, I just wanted to, you know, do a quick lesson, basically on, you know, the transsexuals and the LGBT community is taking over, uh, it's really just taking over, man, you know, uh, I just got finished seeing this headline on world star uh bobby uh valentino allegedly caught on video by a tranny prostitute after not paying for sex okay and you know the person in the video he kind of looks like uh bobby valentino which i believe that some man you know he already is a um you know a fruitcake you know as is you know got a lot of sugar in his tank you know but the thing is, you know, hopefully that this video uh, doesn't get taken down, you know, because the LGBT community, you know, they like forcing their uh, views on people. Uh, America in general doesn't like when people uh, bring out uh, facts about uh, the LGBT community, you know, and, and, and they want people to uh, be down with that or, or accept it, you know. They want us to accept uh, transgenders for who they want to be rather than who 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 they was born to be. You know, the Lord made uh, you a male or a female, man. Okay? To say that you can just change your sex from a male to a female, it's like changing. You could, you, you could just change your parent, you know, your mother and father that birthed you and, and, and gave you life, you could just change your parents to another parent, you know? You could just do that, man, you know? Which, that doesn't make any sense, man, okay? With that, I'm going to get Genesis 1 and 26. And God said, which God is not just one person, okay? God is the 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 the, the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh Shah, and the angels, okay? And this, uh, uh, the one who you call Yahweh Shah, or Jesus, his real name is Yahweh Shah, okay? Uh, so Jesus and the angels, okay, said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea or, and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So we're supposed to have dominion over everything, man. You know? Dominion over everything. Okay? Let's see what this word dominion means. Okay? Which the Hebrew word is uh, radah. Okay? And it says to rule, have dominion, dominate, tread down. Okay? So if we want to go out to go get some fish or whatever we supposed to be able to do that we don't need no we shouldn't have to go get a license to go to fish okay um but in this society the so-called white man controls every goddamn thing man you know and they're pushing this agenda out there man the caitlin jenner and you know it's a lot of uh jake or or so-called black man latino and native american that are down with the way of this society, man, because it allows them to be whatever thing they want to be, man. Okay, it says, so God created man in his own image. Okay? So the Lord made you who you are, man. Okay? The Lord didn't, didn't give you the option of choosing whether you want to be a male or a female. Okay? When you first came onto this planet. He didn't give you that that uh, option, man. Okay, and, and now America is trying to say that there's more than more than um, you know, two genders. 
It says, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So it's either you are you were born a male or you're born a female. Okay? There's not no in between. Okay, you have some people who uh might have uh both uh uh genitals or whatever, so to say, you know, but at the end of the day, that person is still either a male or a female. You're not both, man. Okay? That whole um hermaphrodite thing okay which i'll go into that it goes it goes back to um it goes back to uh uh greek uh, mythology man okay and the 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 real people who, who are the uh herma oh, trying to be hermaphrodites are the uh the ones who, who you call dykes man Okay, which that been going on uh real real uh heavy for for a couple of years, okay? What like the uh you know, women uh dressing up like men and stuff like that. Like you have uh this chick right here, uh the brat, you know, when I was growing up, she always was dressed up, you know, like like a man. Now, lately she's been dressing up like a woman, you know, but from from off of growing up, she always dressed up like a man. You know, that's just the image that she put out, you know, when, when she uh, uh, was growing up. Then you had, you know, other people like Missy Elliott, okay? She was dressing up like a a, a, a guy, okay, during her uh, her coming up, okay? Um, yeah, she was dressing up like a male or whatever. Now... Going into this where, uh, well, I'm going to get this scripture, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Okay, you have a lot of these women out here that are wearing things that pertain unto men. Okay, dressing up like men. Okay, uh, like I said, Missy Elliott is, is one of the main ones that, that come to mind. Okay, these women that like getting... Uh, haircuts and stuff like that to try to look like men okay um wearing pants and stuff like that it says neither so a man put on a woman's garment you know and you have a hey, they put it in these uh tv shows and stuff like that you know like in living color and stuff like that you know and um hey and they they put it in a joking uh manner man a lot of these celebrities do this, but right now we're going into the whole transgender uh, thing, you know, because this this is a, a goddamn shame, man. You know, it says for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. OK, so you're going against nature, man. OK, by putting on what pertains to a man or, or put a male putting on what pertains to a woman okay you're totally going against nature okay and what the lord set you up to be okay and america is just up there and they say well you know we're not supposed to judge and um you know uh, a male can wear whatever he wants to or a woman can wear whatever the hell she wants to you know and that just goes against the scriptures okay um so it says that that they both are uh abomination okay and that word abomination is an important word okay uh since we go since i just uh said that i'm going to the word uh abomination okay and i believe it is uh it says abomination abominable uh thing uh a disgusting thing which it is a, a disgusting thing man okay for women to um put on the things that pertain on to a man or for a man to um put on what what pertains to a woman man the lgbt community is a, is an abomination man it's disgusting okay it says um in ritual sense of unclean food idols mixed marriages an ethical sense of wickedness etc 
and a lot of these transgenders, like like in this thing, you know, which Bobby Valentino, you know, these guys are, are down low, you know, and, and, and they don't uh, bring it out that they actually like men, you know, these uh, celebrities and stuff. And then they go and they, they go have sex with other, you know, straight women, you know. And it's like, yo, that, that causes confusion too, man. You know, if you gay, just come out and, and fucking say that you're gay, man. You know, all this being down low and trying to hide shit, man. That's that's wicked, man. You know, the 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 you have a lot of these guys out here. You know, they look at these uh, um, uh, abominable women, okay, which is you know transgenders, okay, and they get turned on by that, man. That's the same way with with these women, when they look at these these uh, butch dykes or or, or um, hermaphrodites or whatever, which the hermaphrodites are nothing but uh, um, dykes, okay. And the word uh, dyke come from the word hermaphrodite, okay. This is the etymology of hermaphrodite, okay. It says. Um, Person partaking of the attributes of both sexes is a proper name, the son of Hermes and Aphrodite, who in Ovid was loved by the nymph Salmachus so ardently that she prayed for the complete union with him, and as a result, they were united bodily, combining male and female characteristics. So that whole idea of a male and a female being uh one unit that comes from uh greek mythology man okay you see the word greek right here it comes from greek mythology man the, the scripture says that the lord made male and female okay he didn't create that that whole uh two people being being in one okay it's either you're a male or a female okay it says uh perhaps uh, the word dyke um, came around 1931, uh, American English, perhaps a sorting, shortening of morphodike, okay, which that's one thing that they used to say, morphodike, or psychodike and all that, or say it says, dialectal, dialectal garbling of hermaphrodite, but bull diker engaged in lesbian activities is attested from 1921, so the word dyke comes from hermaphrodite, okay? And that's what, what goes on out here right now, man, in this society. Men trying to dress around, act or dressing around, acting like uh, women, okay? And, and, and then you have uh, these women, okay? The, I'm talking about the, the actual mothers and stuff like that. When Halloween come, they want to try to sit up there and, and put the, 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 the child in a, a male and uh makeup and shit like that you know and try to have a, a a little boy walking around uh as a as a fucking woman man for for halloween man you know and think that that's a fucking costume so that shows you how wicked this society is man because a lot of these women promote that shit man you know um and they they make it seem like uh the that is okay man that is that's the cool thing to do okay um, going back into the, uh, scriptures, okay, um, Romans 1 and, uh, 24, okay, it says, uh, wherefore, Yahweh, Basim, Yahweh, also gave them up to uncleanness, through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the Most High, okay, into a lie. Hold on, let me repeat that again, man. Okay, it's Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, okay, and from a young age, you know, nobody tells these little children, you know, in this society that, that, that being a transgender is wrong, you know. 
in in America or even in Canada, if a, if a little boy uh, wants to uh, be a transgender and his parents stop it, then the police can can uh, come or the government can come in between that. Okay, so uh, this place allows them to to have you know follow after their lust, man. Okay, it says to dishonor their own body between themselves. Okay. So honestly, the Lord is the one who gave people that, that unclean spirit, okay, that they have. It says, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, okay, saying that you could be a, a hermaphrodite and all that stuff, okay, a male dressing up like a woman and woman dressing up like a male, okay, it says, and worship and serve the creature more than the create creator who is blessed forever, amen, okay. Now they don't people these transgenders they don't they don't um they don't worship uh the Lord man okay they don't care about nature the LGBT community they don't care about nature okay it says for this cause the most high gave them up onto vile affections for even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature okay and that's like like once again missy elliott okay and many others man okay um you have uh like i said the brat okay these people are going to get a uh, major judgment man look at this shit man you know it's a fucking woman man okay and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burnt in their lust one toward another okay and then and that goes into like bobby valentino man you know and a lot of these other guys that that are uh that are uh into that uh wicked shit man you know because these transgenders they carry a, a certain vibe to them and a the person that isn't rooted or, or grounded into this truth you're gonna look at them and you know, you might get caught up into that, man. You know? And and you might get that 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 feeling or that that lust towards one of these transgenders, man. You know? You don't you don't want you, you know these 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 uh so-called uh trannies or whatever. You know, they put this vibration out there, you know, that these these men just want for some reason, man. You know? You just sit up there and think like, yo, why the fuck would somebody want to do that, man? You know, but but these people, they 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 don't they not thinking on a on a, a a proper level, man. It says men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. Okay, and that's what happening right now, man. You know, <laughs> this is an unseemly uh situation man you know uh and and this is this is what you get when you when you do some shit like that man because you embarrassed from from off of uh what you just did man you know you embarrassed you got to cover yourself up you know and have that walk of shame to the car because you know that you fucked up man you know it's not the fact that he didn't pay for sex or anything like that you know, it's the fact that he know that he was wrong for for sleeping with a prostitute, man. A tranny, I should say. Okay? Um, it says, uh, e and also, I mean, and even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, okay, because that's what they doing. They don't have no fear of the Lord, okay, whether it's the trannies or the, the people that are down low or into that, you know, the whole LGBT uh q community because you gotta add the q you got the people that are questioning their sexuality okay and whatever else letter they want to fucking add into that shit yeah the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient okay so this is vile affections man that people are having towards this lgbt community okay um Continuing on, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah? Okay, 
Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Okay, and that's what this is. Okay. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners. So inherit the kingdom of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Okay, and and these people have to be put to death, man. They taking over, man, and it's you know it's just getting sad, man. That you got to question whether whether a woman is a woman anymore, man. Okay, or whether a man is a man. Okay, at at this point, you you got to 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 try to. Uh, Check and see what a woman birth certificate says, okay? Or or if she got children, you know? You can't just go off the fact, oh, she don't have children, and, 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 the, and, and the chick might be like 6'4 or something like that, you know? With, with an Adam's apple, you know? Like, the shit is fucked up, man, you know? Uh, Revelation 21 and 8, it's the last uh, scripture. Uh, but the fearful... And unbelieving because these people don't don't believe in the scriptures, okay? None of them, man. Okay, they might pick up the Bible. You know, you got a you got a gay Bible and a Queen James version Bible and stuff like that. These people don't really believe in the Bible, man. You know, they don't really believe in the Most High. Okay, the 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 the, the so called white man is their God. Okay, it says the unbelieving and the abominable. Okay, uh, back here in the word abominable, okay, uh, which the, the uh, Hebrew is uh, tha, 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 wa, aba, the wa, aba, I believe, okay, uh, which is a disgusting thing, man, okay, so the disgust, disgusting people, okay, and the murderers and whoremongers, Okay, that's the pimps. Okay, and sorcerers, the farm, the 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 uh, doctors and all of them. You know, cause that's all uh, sorcery. Okay, the pharmaceutical uh, companies and stuff. It says and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And what was the first death? Okay, when the Lord flooded the earth and, you know, during the time of Noah, the second the second death is going to be when the Lord destroys America, which is Babylon the Great, which Babylon means confusing. The Lord is going to destroy America with thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, America is also Sodom and Gomorrah, which that was set as an example of what's going to be in the future, the near future. Okay. But right now, man, this shit is just fucked up, man. You know, the transgenders are taking over.